on the west side of downtown Atlanta. The punter, Bradley Pinion, will handle kickoff duties. And off we go here in Atlanta. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Throwing at the start, here's Carr. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And if they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. In danger of an opening three and out, they face third and ten. Carr working out of the gun. Throw left side, that's Johnson. A pickup there of 19 yards. First down, New Orleans. It's a really important conversion right there, Mike, because you just don't want to go three and out on the road, especially on your opening possession of the game. You want to let your offense get some rhythm, establish and unfold some of the game plan you've set up coming in. They're going to have a fresh set of downs here and now say, okay, can we turn this good start of a drive and finish the drive with some points? Got an open downfield on the crossing route. They get 22 yards there. It's good for a Saints first down. Well, I think it's pretty clear what the week's plan was, and that was to get the quarterback in a rhythm right out of the gate through the passing game. They've essentially ignored the ground game up into this point. You got to imagine as the game unfolds, they'll sprinkle in some runs. But so far, it's been their passing game to get this game started. And that last one results in a first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. Carr to throw. Right back to Johnson. He's got it again. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. And he will score. Alvin Kamara. Touchdown, New Orleans. Exactly the way they scripted this one. A beautiful opening drive, Greg. Able to find the end zone on the game's first possession. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution. And that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm. And that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Ray Ray McLeod on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten now the second year man out of Texas he John Robin he'll get about five past the 30 yard line
Second down, Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Saints offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. The tight end Moreau is in motion. On the ground, it is Jamal Williams. He'll manage only a couple. Caden Ellis in on that stop. He'll come up on a second down and eight. On the give, this is Camara. And he'll get this ahead, gain of about four, and it leads to third down. Throwing is caught. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Falcons offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And that'll be a pickup of three. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. And that ball incomplete over the middle. Here's third and seven. Throwing now, Cousins. left side in the hands of London and the defense can't come up with a stop there gain a seven and a first down a gift and here comes Robinson and he'll get two on this one before being taken down.
Pitts is the man in motion. Now a second down throw for Cousins. He's going to air this one out. And he's got it! And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. Defensively, you put so much effort about defending the middle of the field. You know that's the valuable real estate every offense is looking to attack. But what does that do, Mike? It makes you a little susceptible to the throws outside the numbers, and it leads to a chunk play. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Now, Robinson. And he's going to be taken down. This is already a little better than the first time they had the ball, Mike. Remember, opening possession, three and out. Showing some signs of life here now. Nice pick up there by the back to pick up the first down. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Cousins. This one caught at the four. And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. Cousins going to throw, and he's in, Curly Werner, touchdown Atlanta. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. We're all top. Seven apiece. And the kick's away. Here comes Hill on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Now out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. the shotgun it's caught that one oh it's on target but it goes as an incompletion looked like he had that one in his grasp but unable to hold on and it will be second down every team has those vertical shots mike they're on the call sheet and they feel like they can get behind the defense i think that was one of them and just couldn't quite connect downfield because he had pretty good separation car now on second down Quick throw, taken in, and they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Back is Carr. And man, down the field, it's Olave. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? Here's Carr throwing from the pistol. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Chris Olave, the intended receiver. 
And it'll be second down. Initially, a nice job by the receiver. He actually was open downfield. He was able to get behind the defense, but the window closed up so quickly they couldn't get the ball to him. Prevents the big play. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Carr from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. Here, the ball is thrown short. The idea is get the ball in the hands of your playmaker and let him pick up the rest with his feet. But you know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away McLeod now to return across the 20 they'll mark him down before the 25 yard line and that's where the offense will take over here comes the Atlanta offense now they get set to take over once more they'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten Now, Cousins. Open man, he's got it. It's London. For first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. And here's Bijan. He'll push forward for about a yard. Tackle there by Cameron Jordan. You don't need much. It is third and inches. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. At least at first glance. They'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. He's got his man. It's Mooney. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Cousins. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. This pass rush is continuing to make their presence felt here in the early going and for this quarterback he's lucky to at least get rid of that ball because they were on the verge of recording their second sack and we're still here in the first quarter he's going to find his receiver it's Robinson 11 yards on the connection there it's good for a Falcon first down nice pick up there by Bijan Robinson and so often these big running backs coming out of college Mike Everyone just assumes they're downhill guys and the passing game is an afterthought. Bijan led all rookie running backs with 58 catches last year. It continues to be a big part of his game. He is the ultimate dual threat back. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. 
This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. Pitts is the man in motion. On first and ten, Cousins. That one taken in by London. They'll come up now for second down and four. Here's Cousins. And that one is incomplete and brings us to the end of the first quarter of play. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. The Saints out on top. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. They've converted two third downs already on this drive. And here's third and four. And that is incomplete. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. Who's kick is good. And the Falcons will level the score at 10 apiece. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. So the field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. Here comes the all-pro returner from last year, Rashid Shaheed. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The Saints offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. And open downfield, it's Johnson. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. An ideal beginning to this drive. 24 on the first play. Here's Carr. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Well, sometimes as a play caller, it's pretty easy. Get the ball into the hands of your best players. In this case, a wide receiver screen. Get it to him quick. Get some blockers out in front. Let him do the rest after the catch, and he picks up the first down. Here's first and 10. Carr working out of the gun left side into the hands of Olave and he's going to be brought down just outside the 10 yard line one of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL Mike is his ability to create separation downfield he makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there they'll run here with Kamara and that's a productive run. He gets this one down to the four. Inside the five, it is second and goal. Now, Carr. Oh, the ball comes out! But this is taken in by a teammate. 
Sometimes these games in the NFL, Mike, they get decided by simply how the ball bounces. I mean, how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get strip sack, and that ball ends up going the other direction? Fortunately for them, they can regroup, get back in the huddle, and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and we'll see if they can dodge this bullet. That's in the end zone and intercepted. That's the safety, Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. On first down, Cousins. Short throw taken by Pitts. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They'll run with Robinson. He makes one man miss, but stop quickly as they hold him to a gain of one. Third down, three to go. To throw is Cousins. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. He'll get out of bounds, a gain of eight, and that's going to be good enough for a first down. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. He'll be brought down after a short pickup to about the 29. Second down and eight. Throwing his cousins. That'll be caught. It's Tyler Algier. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. We see this weekend and weekend skill set wide receiver. So if you're going to guard him one on one and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. Try again, it's second and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. The second down throw is incomplete. So after back-to-back -back incompletions, it is now third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. To the right, that's Pitts. And he'll try to get to the marker, but he's going to wind up a yard or two short. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Saints offense getting set to get back to work. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. Car to throw. That's complete. It is Foster Moreau. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, 
You better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. First down throw for Carr. To the right side here, pass is caught. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. This receiver went a long way to catch this ball. He started all the way out on the left side of the formation. And look where he catches it, Mike. He's all the way on the right side of the field. He just continued to work through those open zones, eventually found one, and the quarterback was able to put it on him for a nice game. On the move, past the 40. And he's into the end zone. Chris Olave, touchdown Saints. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg. That was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. But it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. McLeod now to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Falcons offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They find themselves trailing 17-10 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And drawing some moves and odds from the crowd, sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. Another run here for Robinson. Not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Great job here defensively, Mike. Make them snap the ball again. Second and one, they're not conceding anything. Make it third and one and see if your defense can come up again with a stop for no gain. Here's third and two. They'll try and run for this with Algier. And he's going to have a Falcons first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. On first down, it's Robinson. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Off the play fake, here's Cousins. He's going to take a shot here for Mooney. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him and will bring up third down. They're trying to take the top off the defense, make them feel that vertical threat and soften everything up. Wasn't a ton of separation downfield, at least not what they would have preferred, and ends up being a wasted down. He's got his tight end. That's Pitts. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. When you're running a crossing route versus man coverage, you understand that there's going to be nobody waiting for you on the far side of the field. So if you can create separation on your man defender and separate away, there's a lot of green grass. And that's where the quarterback went with the ball. Cousins now to throw on first down. 
He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Throwing now, Cousins. That one is caught by Mooney. A big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. And that's in an area where usually this play gets erased. Cousins to throw. He'll get that to Kadero Hodge. And they'll at least get that penalty yardage back. Back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll set up a third and ten. Cousins. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good and the falcons are able to cut it to four 17 to 13. the kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here comes hill on the return and he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Saints offense ready for this next possession. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Here's Carr throwing from the pistol. On through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down so on a day where he's completed give or take half of his passes Mike you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back and I think that last one falls in that category but the biggest thing and most fortunately for them they find themselves with the lead despite a bit of an up and down performance out of their quarterback and he's down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. Carr now to throw on first down. That's into traffic, but taken in. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second down, Carr. That'll be caught. It's Alvin Kamara. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. First and 10.
Back is Carr. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. Carr now on second down. To the left side into the hands of Olave. And he's in. Chris Olave. Touchdown, New Orleans. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. This is a great decision by the quarterback. You can see, Mike, he's trying to push this ball downfield and pick up a big completion in the air, but with the amount of depth the defense was getting, his best option was the check down, the underneath short throw, and just say, hey, pick up this rest of this game with your legs after the catch. And fortunately for this quarterback, this short throw is going to go down in the box score as a touchdown. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. The Falcons offense going to take over just before the half. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Cousins going to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Now, Cousins... That's caught. It's high. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Here's Cousins. He's got his man. It's Mooney. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. On first and ten, Cousins. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. Now a second down throw for Cousins. With the man, he's got it. It's London. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Out is Young Way Koo to try the field goal. This will be a 46-yard attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. So we hit halftime with the visiting Saints in front as we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. 
McLeod now to return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Falcons offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. They run over center with Robinson. Look at him move away from a tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Here's second and three to go. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Trying to get it to Kyle Pitts. And third down coming up. On the give, it's Robinson. And he's going to have a Falcons first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. Cousins. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He may have trusted his arm strength a little bit too much on that throw. Two defenders in the area. Work to your check down. Work to an open receiver. I think in this case, he forces that ball and ultimately, he's lucky he got away with it. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. Third down and nine. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's going to take a shot here for Mooney. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. Bit of a letdown there. I mean, after that incompletion now, Mike, they find themselves giving the ball back. They're only down eight, so every opportunity to maybe get this thing back to all tied up. But every time they don't take advantage of a possession, it's another opportunity lost. And they've got to find a way. When they get the ball back, they've got to go chase some points. The visitors offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and ten. Go play action with Carr. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. Now, a second down throw from Carr. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. And that's what you call a wasted series. They come out here and they decide, we're just going to air it out. First, second, third down. All three incompletions. And now it brings up fourth down. And 
barring some crazy decision here to keep your offense on the field, you're going to find yourself right back on the sideline. Now, fair catch is taken back inside the 40. The home team's offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll do so with first and 10. Cousins. Short throw taken by Pitts. Really nice job there defensively playing the integrity of that zone defense so well. Anytime an offense is running these crossing routes or these underneath drag routes, they're trying to cause confusion with the underneath zone defenders. In this case, they all stuck to their reads. They all played their responsibilities. Secure the tackle after the catch. And they're not able to pick up any additional yards after the catch. Drake London was the intended receiver there. And it's going to bring up a third down. Cousins now. Throw over the middle, caught by London. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. The Falcons send their punting unit out as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. The visitors' offense ready to take over once more. They'll start out first down and ten. Car now. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. Here's a second and nine. From the shotgun, it's caught. You look middle here, and there's Olave. And they're going to mark him down right at the 30-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Carr working out of the gun. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. Matthew Judah in there for the sack. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection, how can we get extra bodies and extra attention, because we still got a long way to go in this one. Going up top. And that'll be in and out of his hands. It's incomplete. Rough sequence over these last couple plays. First down sack. Second down big play attempt. Falls incomplete. And now to make matters worse, you've got to operate in third and long on a defense that knows they can just pin their ears back and try to get after the quarterback. Carr from the gun on third down. He's going to try it here again. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. I like the fact that they took a shot on third and long, right? A lot of offenses in that situation would be a little bit more conservative playing for the fourth down punt. They're trying to pick up a big chunk play through the air, but now that you can't connect, it all but guarantees you got to punt this ball away as it brings up fourth and a mile. And we will not see a return on this one. 
as it will be marked down. The home team's offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Cousins to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Cousins now on second down. The pass rush gets home and he goes down. I can appreciate the idea of keeping the play alive, right? Giving as much time as possible to your targets to uncover downfield. But you also have to play to your strengths. You got to know the type of player that you are. In this case, doesn't have quite enough speed to get away and probably should have just thrown it away. On third down, it's Robinson. That is not going to work at all. He'll manage to only get back to the line of scrimmage. Very short of the first down. Fourth down coming up. In these situations, Mike, you really just have two options. You can either try to force the issue and push the ball downfield, looking to get past the sticks, or the second option, which you saw here, try to catch the defense in pass mode, sneak a draw. In this case, they're ready for it. No gain. Fourth down. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll begin with first and 10. They'll start this one on the ground with Kamara. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Now, Carr. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. There is no worse feeling either coming back to the huddle or the sideline after a big drop, and that was a beautifully designed play, perfectly placed ball, and he just couldn't make the grab. To throw, it's Carr. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's... As you can probably imagine, Mike, this one really burns me. I mean, man, I wish my fellow tight ends catch every ball the entire game, but to be this open and not come down with it, I'm going to have to set a reminder. Next year at TEU, we're going to have to bring out some jugs machines. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take it. The home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll see if they can put something together here. Beginning with first and ten. Throwing now, Cousins. Now, deep ball for London. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They nearly connected on the big play downfield, but he's not quite able to hold on to that ball through the contact. You can chalk that one up as a win defensively. Second down, Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Throwing his Cousins. That's complete. He's got it to London. 
13 yards on the catch there. First down, Atlanta. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. On second down, Cousins again. Open man downfield, that's London. That's the second time they found him on this drive, and this one's good for 24 yards. He sets this route up perfectly. You'll see he attacks the inside leverage of the defender, thinking he's going to run an in-breaking route. Then he gets back vertical and breaks out, creates separation, balls on time, picks up an easy first down. That's caught left side by Pitts. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. To throw is Cousins. Left side in the hands of London. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. Cousins gonna throw. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's gonna end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Now, Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Here's Cousins. And this ball incomplete on third down just a couple plays ago Mike it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable they were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field and then as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses they started getting sloppy in their execution now what do they do on fourth down do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive or do they settle for three whose kick is good and the Falcons are back within five Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here comes Hill on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Saints offense ready to get back at it. The lead is five as they're going to start with this first down. Play action now. It's Kong. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The 
They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. This one is caught by Moreau. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Off the play fit. Here's Carr. He'll go right and find his running back. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The tight end, Barreau, is in motion. Open man down the field. It's Olave. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. So the longer that play progressed, the more difficult it is to cover that crossing route. So what's the key? It starts with pass protection. Give the quarterback time to stay with his receiver and not be forced to check that ball down. On first and ten, Carr. No one open, he'll drop it to his running back. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. It's a give now to Kamara. And that should be enough. He works his way forward to pick up a first down. Now Carr. He's got it at the three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Now, here's second and goal. Kamara gonna try to pull his way in, and he's gonna lose yardage here. That's the way they'll switch ends as this third quarter has come to an end. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Here's Carr. That is caught, and he will score again. Press Saints. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. On comes Blake Grupe for the PAT. He knocks it through. The Saints will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away McLeod now to return and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line the Falcons offense ready to come back out for this next possession they'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten Mooney in motion. Off the play fake. Here's Cousins. 
That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Short throw taken by Pitts. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. The Falcons getting their punter out there as they are forced to kick for the sixth time today. And he's going to be hit and dropped right away. That's great coverage there. Winds up with nothing on the return. Now, out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. On the handoff, it's Kamara. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. And before the snap, we have a whistle. And this could very well be a false start. Second down, Carr. A throw left side there, not going to find the target. Incomplete. This defense in desperate need of a stop, and here comes third down. Carr to throw. Quick throw, taken in. Well, this one is in reverse again. They're going to lose more yardage here, and it's going to bring up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. And a short field awaits. Fair catch taken on this side of midfield. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. They've got great starting position with a short field as they try to get back in this one. It is first and ten. Play action now. It's Cousins. The pressure gets there and down he goes. A sack. They just have to be better on first down. They've got to find a way to continue to operate ahead of the sticks, and I don't mind throwing it on first down. That is the best down in football to attempt to pass, but if they don't protect the passer, none of it's going to matter. Second down, Cousins. That's complete to McLeod. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Now, Cousins. He'll get this to McLeod. 
Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. I think it's safe to assume that is not how they envisioned that third down play call going. And now after going backwards, it's going to bring up fourth down. And he looks up, and he's taken down right away. Maybe fortunate just to hold on to the ball as he was tackled immediately after hauling that one in. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. It'll be a run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's caught. The reception for Rashid Shaheed. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air, Mike. You're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock and... Without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Can he get away? No! He's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Carr working out of the gun. Shahid with the catch. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent possible here down the stretch late. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. Here's Carr, throwing from the pistol. He'll look underneath here and find Kamara. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of... The best quarterbacks, Mike, they don't necessarily even have to see the running back in the check down. They can just feel him. It allows them to keep their eyes downfield, allow their tight ends and wide receivers to continue to work open. In this case, nice job by the quarterback getting that ball in his hands and letting him do the rest after the catch. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. This one caught at the four. It'll get about six before he's taken down. Oh, 
under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. And that's a big-time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that was it right there. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Saints add on to their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Avery Williams on the return. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The home team's offense ready to get back to work. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. To throw is Cousins. Now, deep ball for London. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. That's one of those plays where you come off the field, Mike, and you're getting a lot of high fives. Hey, good job. But then that secondary's coach pulls you over to the side and says, hey, nice play. But next time, let's come away with the pick. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Defensively, that's just a missed opportunity, Mike. Anytime you have two defenders in the area and neither one of them is able to make a play on the ball, yes, I know that the ball felt incomplete, but, man, you got to get your hands on that ball and take advantage. Left side in the hands of London. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Okay, so now you pick up that first down, Mike, but now there needs to be a sense of urgency. You know you need to score twice. So this one, ideally for the offense, results in a touchdown. But either way, this first score of the two needed needs to be fast because you need every possession you can here late in the fourth quarter. There was tight coverage all across the field. I think the quarterback thought he had the arm strength to fit this one into a pretty small window, but the defense wasn't having it. They were all over it, and I think the quarterback actually got away with one there. Cousins now on second down. To the right, that's Pitts. Here now, third and five. Now, Cousins. This one intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adiba. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Slot man in motion left. On first down, they'll start out with Kamara. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. The key to great defensive line play is the get-off. When that ball moves, how fast can you get off the ball and get into the backfield? That's exactly what we saw here. Quick read, react, get off the block, take him down for a loss. He'll go again here with Kamara. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. They're going to go right back to Camaro. 
And he's going to be taken down. And that will take us to the two-minute warning. The Saints lining up in punt formation as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. Now, fair catch will be taken out near the 35-yard line. The Falcons offense about ready to take over once more. They'll come up for first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Over the middle, that's his tight end, Pitts. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And that quarterback called that play in the huddle. That ball was only going to one guy. He was the first read, the second read, and the check down. And it was called to perfection. They got the perfect look and led to a nice game. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players, and I think we saw it there on that last pass breakup. The ability to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts, it allows them to be in the right spot at the right time and allows them to make the play. Throwing now, Cousins. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Big play in the game right here. It's third down. Cousins going to throw. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, They've already turned the ball over through the air. And truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, they're lucky it hasn't been even more. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. Here's first and ten. On the give, this is Camara, And he's fighting to get free. A lot of work there for a gain of three. The Saints offense ready to see what they can do. They're going to be looking to possibly push this to a three-score advantage. Work to do on this drive. First and ten. Second and seven. Out of the gun, here's a give to Kamara. And he's going to have that first down across midfield and down to the 46-yard line. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee.
So this one a win for the visiting Saints. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play, and in the end, they come away with the victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.